Yo, what's going on guys? It's Bev from Artifact. This is a quick start video. We're going to get you in with Clone Converter as quickly as possible. For your questions, we've got to ask first. Check this out. VRM. What is that? That's this. You have to run around with your clone in 3D. If you got VR, you can put your headset on and now you can use your clone in VR. That's what we're going to make, okay? So, boom. What do we need? Own X dot artifact.com download your clone files make sure you have them all check this out i got 13 make sure you got 13 you need 13 so here i got the clone files here i have 13 of them no i don't i have 11 why because i deleted two i decided i don't need the leggings or the tech joggers because i like the oversized but make sure you have all your clone files make sure they're all saved in one location just like this okay that's all you gotta do make sure that's all here and i'm gonna close this real quick and start again so we can do fresh one together so, once you have all of these downloaded, I'm going to minimize this. Go here, link in the description, download all of this, okay? This is three plugins that you need to make this all happen. I'm going to show you it's very quick and easy. You need also this bonus assignment JSON, also easy. Blender 3.2, I've included the Blender file that I'm using to make this all happen. If you have an earlier or an older version and it doesn't work, use this. Okay, awesome. Now, I'm going to hit this one in Blender. Right, blender, blend, Blender. Awesome. Okay. Loading 3.2. Here we are. Install all the plugins. Go to edit. Go to preferences. Go to install. Go find where your phone files are. Mine are here. We specifically need to install all of these. So you're going to click on it. Example. Hit install. Next. If it doesn't pop up, type in here. Go to search. Make sure it's checked. Next one. Do that to all of these. You are installing zipped files. That's okay. Just go through and install all of these zipped files. Right? Once everything is installed and they're all checked like this, hit this X, hit the letter N. This will open up. I'm going to turn this on. You guys don't have this. You don't need it either. What this does is basically it uh, shows all the keys, right? So if I click things, you can see the keys just so you can follow along with me. All right. Here's a quick and dirty clone tools. Open this. Go to your clone files. So my clone files are here. Hit select location. Your clone will load in. Awesome. Go to clone converter. Open this up. Click the do all. It'll clean the scene up. Hit mesh. Hit optimize mesh. It'll optimize your mesh. Go texture optimization. Hit do all. It'll remove everything. If you have a texture that uses emissive, like if you look at me right now, I have these lines on my face. Right? And now I don't. So, do not hit do all if you have something that breaks when you remove the emissive. For me, it's the lines on my face. These lines on my face will remove if I delete the emissive. Do all does everything so it gets rid of your emissive. So for me, I'm going to go roughness, metallic, armals, unused. I'm just going to click them again just to make sure they're all clicked. Close this, image optimization optimized. This will resave all the image attached to your 3D avatar as a 1K compressed JPEG. So it's going to make them as small as possible um, automatically for you. You don't have to do anything, right? You just hit the button and it's going to load. This is the names of the object. This is the materials and this is the images. You don't need, really need to know that. Um, but yeah, it just cleaned everything up. Now, if you are good at Unity, you can go hit this button. It gives you an FBX that will work in Unity for you. If not, you go File, Export, VRM, okay? You hit this button. This will pop up. This is that other file that you were like, what the heck is this? When you hit this right here, you want to load the bone assignment JSON file. Hit load bone mapping. Boom. It'll like twinkle a little bit and then uh, all done. Now hit file export VRM again. This time it's going to load. Okay, so now give it a second. It's loading the bone map that we just told it to do. And then you can go and click inside of here. And by default, it's going to be renamed Clone Tools VRM. You can name it something else. I'm just going to leave it like this. Hit Export. It's going to make some weird numbers. You're done. Now, if I go back over uh, whoa, this one into here, and I go into Files, or I saved it in here, and I saved it as Clone Tools VRM, you can just drag and drop this and note 1.5 megabytes. Real nice. Drag and drop this in here. And... <gasps> What happened? Okay, we missed a crucial step. I did this on purpose so you can see, because this is the step I always, always, always forget. The last step before you file export VRM is you switch to clone tools, go to pose, switch to pose, turn on the VRM pose. Now file export VRM. 
Hey, I missed a button. File. File. Export. VRM. Clone tools. Export. Give it a second. Three, two, one. Minimize this. Open up the clone files. Look for clone tools VRM. I'm just going to drop this into Hyper 5 because that's what I'm testing on. Hit equip. Awesome. See, that's it. Your clone, he is loaded in as a VRM. You can walk around, you can jump, you can do things. You can hang out with everyone else with their clones in places like Hyper 5 Space Show on Cyber in the future. All of those awesome places. That's it, guys.